All right. Good to get a win. Uh, never easy. Proud of the guys and the way that they pushed through. Um, we're resilient. It was back and forth. Um, and uh, you know, I thought they came together and put together a good you know, back quarter there of the game with complimentary football. Um, never easy to win in this league. So um, with that, I'll turn it over to you with your questions. How about that performance from Razul? He comes over at the trade deadline, and you're expecting him to make an impact, but uh, change the game the way he did today. Yeah, um, big time, big time plays early in the game in particular, and um, I think what we have four, got four, and he scored on one of them. So um, anytime you can do that, you know, you're giving yourself a chance to, to win games. Can you explain a little bit of the problem with the offense? It was not easy. Yeah, you know, I, I would say this. The positive is that, uh, that Joe and the, and the staff, you know, they, they made the adjustments they needed to make, came out in the second half, got the score early then, and then, and then that drive to end the game I thought was important, the four-minute drive. Um, around that, to your point, I thought we could have done um, a better job. That's a good defense. Coach Belichick does a great job um, with that defense, and uh, in particular in the red zone. That's kind of what kept it, kept it closer than, than it should have been perhaps. So... Uh, we've got to continue to work, just like our entire football team. Improve every week, learn from the game. There's things on defense we can do better, special teams we can do better. Um, and that's that's really got to be the vision and the goal. Is there anything you've seen with Josh physically or within his process, especially these last two weeks, that has contributed at all to the struggle of the offense? Uh, well, if I knew, I would. You know, we would have fixed it by now. But um, not necessarily. You know, I, th I thought we had some fundamental issues throughout the first two quarters, I would say for sure, with just throwing, catching. We had some of that, right? We had some some penalties that were hurting us as well. Um, and and across, the, across the team, blocking, catching, you know, getting off blocks, beating ourselves with penalties. Um, I mean, it was – and that's where we've got to focus heavily this week on improving that in those areas. Steph didn't play at all in that first drive. Can we add the halftime with your anything he was dealing with or anything to do with the No, not, not, not to my knowledge medically at this point. Yeah. Sean, what does Bob show you in practice this coming week that say he's an option for next year? Yeah, listen, that was a, that was a tough decision. Vaughn's a pro. Um, he's one of the leaders on our team. And I thought he did a phenomenal job on the sideline. Um, with, from a leadership standpoint with, with his teammates. And um, he's, he's a very important part of this team, and, and we have full confidence in him and, um, you know, look forward to getting him back going forward here. With Steph? Yeah, I, I'm not aware. That's what, I, I, you know, so it may have just been game plan-wise and the plays that were getting called as to, as to why he wasn't in there during that drive. All of those things with this stuff, he's kind of been, it's been seven games before he really has not had a big no, it is. I mean, he's our number one receiver, and um, you know whether teams are trying to take him away or they're spreading, you know, getting the ball spread around, and things we can do better offensively. And um, you know, I know this. Anytime a quarterback is going through his progression, that's the right way to go through it, right? And, and the ball finds the open players. So Steph continues to work. Um, He's going to be fine. So, but we have to. We have we have things we need to work on overall as a team, and that's and that's one of them um, because you can't let your number one receiver go like he has, and in, in particular the last few games. So, um, so we've got obviously some work to do. Sean, I know everything's in front of you with the division title on the line, but from the bye week and everything you guys dealt with to now, what's your team shown you? Even though it hasn't always been easy. Yeah to get yourself to this spot. Yeah, they've been very resilient, Mike, you know, very resilient. And um, just the things that they've learned, I think, through the journey that have gotten us to here um, and and then using them week to week to, to find a way to win games. Um, today we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Um, and I thought their, their resilient nature was on display in the second half, that first drive by our offense, as I mentioned, and then that last – exchange of the ball the last series or two right there with hey we punt it <clears throat> they go three and out we get the ball back our offense goes on a drive i mean i think that that says a lot about who they are in terms of their resiliency there sean looked like a pretty friendly handshake with bill there at the very end what can you tell us about that exchange there 
Yeah, I mean, um, listen, they've they've controlled this division for a long time, um, and uh, and he's won X amount of Super Bowls. So I, I have a ton of respect for Coach in that regard, and um, you know, he, he his guys, you know, they they fought today, and that was a tough game. We knew it was going to be a tough game, and um, so um, it was it was a cordial, professional handshake and exchange of words and and respect. Yeah, TB. Yeah, no, he's done a good job. Um, you know, again, this is a position that, um, you know, Tremaine left, uh, you know, for free agency this past off season, And, um, you know, TB steps into a spot where there were a lot of question marks, quite honestly. And, and I think he's done a, a really nice job of leading our defense, under, growing in the understanding as well of our defense in, 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 in the – and then his ability to lead because he understands the defense more and more each week. Um, he's only going to get better, and i um, extremely proud of him and not only his play but his leadership. Sean, uh, Josh took the shot at the end of the game. Yeah. It, any concern from your perspective after talking with trainers? Um, you know, I haven't really talked to trainers yet. Uh, I just walked by the trainer room. So. How do you gauge where your defense is from the beginning of the game? Or take a look at it from the, the mark of the season? Well, you know, I, I thought today was uh, – there was a lot of good today. Um, the four takeaways, the this, this, this score off the, on, on defense, off the one of the ta- on one of the takeaways. Um, that said, there, there, there's certainly things, as I mentioned earlier, that we can improve on. And, uh, and so we've got to be dialed in on those as we move forward here. What's an example? Well, I'll, I'll be giving away – got to try and make people work a little bit, Tim, so – um, it'd be like saying, "Hey, what's wrong with you?" Well, you know, I got no hair, right? I mean, it's kind of people. They just I'm gonna make them work to figure out. I don't have any hair by wearing a hat, so. so you're saying it's not obvious. It's not obvious. No, there's. I mean, this, I got work to. We get. We got. I have work to do. We have work to do. Sean, we asked you earlier in the week about the scoreboard watching. We noticed there wasn't the score of the Dolphins game on the scoreboard. Did that? Did that come from your perspective for you? From my perspective, from someone asked director. during the week if that was a Buffalo Bills rule. Was that you, Tim, that asked about that? John did. Yeah, John. John's not here. Uh, it was not a Buffalo Bills rule. Um, it was just something that we wanted to do to keep our guys focused. So. Who's, who's we? Does that, does that we? Are you we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the staff and me. So how, quick, how quickly after the game did you? look to see what that what that score was um when i was uh in my locker derek had briefed me on on the score so um but we got some more work to do here so your thoughts on sam uh yeah great day uh great to see sam it's a great example of you know he went through a stretch there of i don't know a couple weeks maybe where it wasn't uh, up to his and our standard and and he knows that and um, the journey of a season, right? That's a great, to me, that's a, a microcosm of uh, the journey of a season for, for a player in this case and, and, and for a team where you go through ups and downs and can you get yourself out of it and can you stay confident through it, right? Keep your belief in yourself, your belief in those around you. Um, I think that's, if you can keep your belief through the journey of a season, the course of a season, I think if you can endure that, uh, you got something. How does Daquan change things that you want to do up front? Terrell Bernard talking to him, he was like, my, my job gets a lot easier when Daquan's in there. What, what does he do for you as a front? Yeah, um, it was good to have him out there today. And again, I applaud him for, I mean, he's worked. You know, I, see, I, see da- I saw Daquan in there since the day he went out after his surgery and came back to us. Matt Milano, the same thing, Tre Davis White. And Daquan, obviously had a chance and he just worked his tail off to get back. He was so diligent working with our trainers. They did a great job as well, Nate and his staff. And now to come back out, it's been 10 weeks roughly, right? So we had to manage expectations, at least for me going into it of, hey, so it's, it's hopefully today was a step in the right direction in terms of getting his sea legs back and, and, uh, and being a factor for us. Sean Rasul shows his patience out there today with those two interceptions now standing at the door. Well, I'll just fill a buster up here. I'll just be up here for about another 15. 
So you bet you guys might want to talk to that. So thanks. And happy New Year to everyone.